Welcome. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do hope everybody's doing well. Remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And thank you for all your likes, subscribes, and shares. I really appreciate it. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Just going to do a regular Celtic spread today. Pisces. Ooh. Yeah. It's looking good. Uh-oh. Trouble in paradise. Over there. All right. So what I'm immediately seeing with this is uh, Pisces is all about the love right now. She's just uh, possibly falling in love or sending words of love to someone. And... What's crossing her is her wish. This is your challenge, Pisces. It's what you wished for. Okay? In the distant past, we could have had a Gemini or a lover's situation in the distant past. In the most recent past, we got Mr. Uh, all the time. <laughs> this is my... Um, you know, go-getter, uh, fiery energy, passion. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's all that. So, that is the best possible outcome is to pay attention. Future energy is the three of swords. So, be careful with this, Pisces. We have the death as what is affecting the situation? I do believe, Pisces, you're going through a serious transformation right now. And you're seeing the truth. You're seeing this King of Swords as the truth and nothing but the truth. This transformation you went through, or it could be a Scorpio. Take it out, it resonates. And then we have... Hopes and fears is I think you're afraid somebody's either you're afraid somebody's got somebody else or you're hoping they got somebody else. I mean, it all depends on what side of the spectrum you're on there. Me, I don't want to keep anybody. So if they go away, I'm cool with that. But, it, you know, it, it's up to you. But I see a lot of passion coming in. And the final outcome is the three of pentacles. So... Pisces, we're going to clarify everything, but um, yeah, it, it's looking really good. Now, your immediate future, what I'm being guided to tell you is don't get attached. I think you'll be fine if you don't get attached. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woohoo. Pisces, three of wands on the bottom. Okay, this directly affects, I, I believe it's somebody that walked away from you. Maybe in the past, maybe this person here, they walked away from you and left you in this kind of energy. Well, Pisces, they're coming back and it's hot and heavy. It is really hot and heavy. I think this person has realized that you might be something more than what they thought. Could be a Sagittarius. Keep it balanced, Pisces. Keep it balanced because this will turn into something else. This is going to turn into something beautiful. But you're not seeing this. You're not seeing this coming. I mean, it's it's like it's coming out of the out of the blue. So this is your immediate future. And my readings are timeless, so um, take it how it resonates. And, and you'll see this when you're supposed to see this. What is this Aquarius that's crossing them? The star. Maybe you're going to be a star. Maybe that's. Maybe you're afraid to be a star. I know I am. Let's see. Yep. Oh. 
Ten of Pentacles. Oh my goodness, Pisces. I think you're scared of it. I think you're actually scared of, of taming that lion and, and becoming that Nine of Pentacles because look at the Nine Nine here. You're wrapping something up here. This is your challenge. And, and I'm being guided to tell you not to worry. Spirit has got you. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. You've tamed you you you've you've uh, tamed that lion, whatever it is, and it can come with a very nice price. So try not to worry too much about that, Pisces. I mean, don't don't stay in your head like that, because just because you didn't see this coming doesn't mean. That it isn't a good thing. I see it as a wonderful thing. A brand new beginning. Lots of passion. Lots of passion. Let's see what the death card brings. Yep. Justice. You're done fighting, Pisces. Magical, magical situation going on here. You're done fighting, possibly with the Scorpio. And you're, you're choosing... To begin again, this is your justice. This is beautiful. This is awesome. No more fighting. Moving on from the fighting, from any kind of fighting. Or, there we go. Ooh, might have a choice between two, three maybe. You've got several. You've got several people coming in here. Fire sign, water sign, air sign. Let's see what else. I'm getting getting in. Oh, disappointed in one of them. Confused about the other one. <laughs> and I think you're just deciding to do you. Oh goodness. This is a trip trippy reading here. Somebody disappointed you. And that's what that's these these are the outside fluence. Whoever disappointed you. He's coming back to make an offer, but it confuses you because you're afraid that it's an illusion. You're afraid that this Knight of Pentacles, who took forever to get here, uh, is just playing you. That's, I mean, it's as simple as that with that Five of Cups here. You still got two cups standing though, Pisces. You're choosing to release it. You're choosing to end the situation. And I think that's more... Um, what I want to say, ooh, that uh, sage is all over the place. Um, I'm feeling like you're choosing not to give up. No, I ain't gonna say that. You're <laughs> you're choosing not to care, and you're just letting it go. You're just like whatever in a total whatever mode. Um, you know, it's like. Do I let somebody confuse me? Do I allow this disappointment to confuse me? And take me off balance? No, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, enjoy the fruits of my labor. No matter who this person is. And I'm gonna choose to let, you know, it's not... You know, I almost feel like with this, it's not something you even really want because it's too burdensome. But you like the fact that you have all these suitors and it, it, it's confusing, Pisces. I mean, you've got like three or four people here trying to get the one Queen of Cups attention. So if this isn't happening now, it will very, very soon, and it's going to send you into a spiral of being confused. You know, I, I almost feel like somebody's coming back to apologize, and that's going to mix in with the other energies that are around you. And you're like, um, should I take this or shouldn't I? Um, this is taking a long time to get here. Do I want it or don't I want it? I mean, it's, there's only, you know, it's kind of like, eh, okay, 
whatever. Like I said, it's whatever mode. With that Ten of Wands, you're dropping judgment, period, of the situation. You're just allowing, which is wonderful. You should allow. In the, in the state of flow. Ten of... Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, where are we at here? Oh, yeah, that's the end. I was just making sure because I don't want to get this corner to work with. Okay, we're going to put that one there. And I'm going to put best possible on one side. And the final outcome on the other. Okay? Best possible outcome is this one. It's all about the love, Pisces. It's all about the love. Oh, wow. Uh-uh-uh. Okay, Ten of Swords on the bottom. So there's some kind of behavior here that's going to end. I think you're going to be put in the Emperor's spot. You are going to be the boss. And you are going to allow something here to end and something to come back. I feel like almost like a rebirth with this Scorpio. You're allowing something to be reborn. And, and it's something that ultimately leads you to maybe even... And, and I'm just going to say this because, you know, I mean, I got so many people on the board... Maybe you're just going to accept the fact that there are three people involved that you uh, kind of had victory over. And I see marriage. But that's the Four of Wands, 11-11. You're on the right track, Pisces. You're keeping your options open. You're ending... A codependent situation, I do believe. Let's pull some kippers and find out. Please forgive the neighbors. They get really loud around here, especially towards the weekend. <laughs> Why I can't take it inside, I don't know. All right, let's see. Journey, privileged lady. Adjudication, house, and coffin. Yeah, lovers, here we go. Now I could do this in an, in a, in a um a negative con con, con con I can't even speak connotation, but I don't see it as that right now. I see this as you starting a new journey in the immediate future. You're scared of it, but you're starting it anyway. I also see you as the privileged lady, and so does all these other people, okay? The adjudication. This is you freeing yourself from a prison of your own making and allowing things to happen. I don't see a court case here, but you could be getting divorced. I don't know. Maybe that's, your, that's what you're trying to free yourself from in this Two of Swords, and you're not sure how to go about it, so... You're weighing the pros and cons in this situation. I do not see this as a legal battle, but if you are in one, that might be for a few people. They may be going through a divorce. And somebody's going to get the house. And something is over. It may be with this divine masculine. It's over. You're tired of waiting on this person. You've been watching. You've been paying attention. <sighs> okay. Sage dust all over everything. Um, and I think you're, you're choosing to go on a new journey here and leave that behind, Pisces, because the 10, 10, I mean, we got 9, 9, 10, 10. You're done. You're done fighting whoever this person is. And like I said, you could be going to court because... There's justice, or it just could be Jupiter coming in to bring you justice. You know, take it how it resonates. I'm I'm an astrology nerd, so <clears throat> I look at this as Jupiter coming in to make things right. Because Pisces, I do feel like you were humiliated. But this is done. This is dead. 
this is transforming. We got Jupiter and uh, Venus and Capricorn crossing Pluto. Okay, it's a, it's a conjunction with Pluto, which this card represents, and that's the things that are hidden. That's secrets. That's um, with the moon up there, there's some secrets here. There's something hidden from you that you don't see yet. So if this is a court case, Pisces, it's over. You're done. You have walked away. All right? The rest of it looks absolutely gorgeous. I am so happy for you. Let me get out my seven deadly sins here. Let's see what we got. Or maybe you're embodying the divine masculine energy instead of waiting for somebody else to do it. <laughs> Lust, sex, intrigue, curious, wrath, piece of shit. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cuss like that, but that's what that means, P-O-S. Somebody's done. Somebody is so done in this situation. They're like, you know what? Um, I'm out of here. I'm walking away. Y'all can do what you do. I, I gotta go. Ooh, somebody's very arrogant. It's very prideful. That's why I call this, I got lust and, and wrath on here. You know, it's funny. I, I've been, I've had these cards for a little bit. Aw, love. <laughs> and Pisces, you're a badass. All right. I've had I've I've had, you know, I've got seven the seven deadly sins in that deck, but and I've been using them, but this is the first time that I have pulled any of the sins, which is lust and wrath. So Pisces, I think you're you're letting go of something that you thought was going to. Um, whoa! Did, did you see that? Jumped all the way out of my card. Um, you're letting go of something that that no longer serves you. You're done. This person has really done a number on you, and and you're keeping your options open as far as marriage goes in the future. That's the final outcome of this. I think you're just interested in this right now, all right? Because of this, because of this person that 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 forced you to possibly go into a legal situation that you didn't even want to deal with, all right? Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany. Yep, there it is. The tower. You're ascending, Pisces. Mirror. Wow. So you guys are mirroring each other, whether you know it or not. Yeah, somebody got stabbed in the back and there wasn't enough to keep them around. Okay? On that Eight of Cups. Whoever that was, there was heartbreak, pain, deception, and a shocking attack. This is factors affecting the situation. This is the now time. This is... What's happening now? Whoever this person was, either you're divorcing them or you're choosing to walk away from them and, and have your own life because of the backstabbing and, and the frustration, the lack of confidence. That I mean, I do believe that this person forced you into a situation that made you lack your confidence. They made you not, you know, not feel like you were all that, you know. They, they made you feel like you were no good. So, but I think you put an end to that. You put an end to that for sure. And you're all you're looking at now is the love and getting you getting you on. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, with the three of swords and the ace of wands there, that tells me that you're ready to begin again and you just want to go have some fun. You're not even yep. Mirror, self-reflection. <clears throat> You have self-reflected enough to the point where it's left you. Yeah, they look down on you. Two different worlds. But you know what, Pisces? Whatever. <laughs> it 
Somebody's not loving themselves. That is an, a significant... Uh, I think that's what Spirit wants you to do. Spirit wants you to just love yourself and, and not worry about what anybody else is doing right now. Keep your op options open. Have some fun. Enjoy the dance. No way. Enjoy it, Pisces. You earned it. Every single bit of it. Transform. The way is through. Yes. But be careful of these guys because most, if not half the population is energetic vampires. They will try to dry you out. They will try to suck you dry. I mean, and I don't mean that in a sexual way. I mean that is they will try to take all of your energy. If you are not powerful enough to handle it, you might want to, like I said, do some meditation. Do something that, that brings you your power up. Because, or better yet, do an affirmation every day when you wake up saying, I call all my power back to me that I freely get, freely and unknowingly gave away. Say it every day. And you'll be amazed at what it does for you. It'll change your life, I promise. And this kind of behavior is over. You're done. It's time to move to the next phase. And it looks like you're going there with uh, some hot toddies. So we got like three or four choices here, Pisces. What you gonna do? <laughs> well, that's all I have for you this time. I'll see you guys next time. Those are your messages. Take care. Bye-bye.